everybody. Welcome to the video. We're gonna be watching Cars 3. Yay! <laughs> what the hell? Oh man, yo, I hope you're having a good day and everything, bro. But oh, oh hold on real quick. This is my favorite part. I end up getting hooked up just like I did, bro. <laughs> I am speed. Did I used to say that? Yes, sir, you did. Ah! I like how they pretty much started this one off kind of like the first one because I know that they was getting a lot of the feedback from the second movie trying to go back to what a lot of people really liked. Even me reading the comments, I saw that a lot of y'all didn't like the whole espionage thing because you felt like it was so random and different from the first movie. I understand. Me, I really did enjoy it. You know, to each his own. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is ridiculous. Where do you even get something like that from? Who's coming from that? That? <laughs> Yo, they bringing a lot of the freaking first stuff back, man. Your blinker's on. What? No, it's not. Your blinker's on. Good comeback, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> this really does all look very good. And the music is a beautiful choice, too. These three are fun to watch. You know what else is fun to watch? My Patreon. You can go ahead and click the link in the description and see my full length reactions. <laughs> But yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Oh, that was a good one. Hey. These guys are real class acts. Congratulations, Cupcake. I hope that's actually foam and not car. Sucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to be gross with it. I couldn't think of another word. Hey. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That looks crazy, bro. Come on, come on. Keep it going, buddy. That fro looked fire, bro. I wish they actually sold those. I would have bought one. I'll boot Cal off the Donico team and replace him with you. <laughs> you know I can hear you, right? <laughs> Dang, they steadily disrespecting this car, bro. And this dude just comes out of nowhere, just smooth like that. Oh, it's Jackson Storm for the win. Neither Lightning or Bobby ever saw him coming. Yeah, because the dude wasn't even in the race, bro. This dude just came out of nowhere. Jackson Storm. Yeah, he's one of the rookies. Sound like he best friends with that ball dude. I forgot his name. They be doing tag team stuff. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Hang on, did you say meet or beat? I think you heard me. I think I touched a nerve. <laughs> I love the sound design when it comes to Jackson Storm. Chick Picks and Chick Hicks. I'm your host, former and forever Piston Cup champion, Chick Hicks. It's showtime. I love that he got his own freaking show, man. That's amazing. Pretty much just like with real life, with a lot of these sports analysts and athletes that will turn into analysts. Next generation of high-tech racers, tire pressure, downforce, weight distribution, aerodynamics. I like how they're hitting the on this right changing. here because I remember there was like a period of time when it came to sports, especially like basketball. Ball. To me, a lot of people was like button heads when it comes to like analytic guys and dudes who were looking at it from a non-analytical standpoint. So you can see it right here how they both look at Jackson Storm. The Lightning McQueen in his farewell season. What are you talking about? Dang, that boy talking that amount of sh That boy said it's your farewell season because I'm taking over. Said I'm about to embarrass you to the point where you're going to retire. One reason Storm and their ability to hold the optimum racing line every single lap. What the hell? He's making it seem so easy. The boy barely trying. Bro, and the way that he's looking and how he's moving, that doesn't even look like his top speed. Look like he can go even faster. Ka-chow. Or should I say caboose? Because he's always in the back. Chick, you talking all that? Come on, bro. Don't have me embarrass you again. Uh, uh, Will McQueen try new training methods? Is he prepared methods? to retire? Come on, come on, guys. How are these cars able to hold these things? Who puts those things? onto their wheels to where they can hold it. I asked my uncle once how I'd know when it was time to stop. The youngsters will tell you. Dang, you really got bullied to the point where you retiring, bro? You are a this boy got bullied to retire. Every week we've seen veteran racers either retire like- Whoa, this is like starting off very interesting, bro. Damn, now they all look the same damn near. I'm giving your number to someone new. Hey, I, I had two wins last year. Wait, you're not Bobby. <laughs> Name's Danny, bro. <laughs> boy, just remind me of Fast and Furious. So you really just about to have all these kind of cars driving this type of race, man? These look like drag race cars, man. <laughs> So I guess these racing matches are basically like their version of running track since like these cars are alive and stuff. You feel me? Guido, hurry up! About to fight. Come on, Guido, you supposed to be freaking super fast, bro. You was moving slow as hell that time. Got the lead. Block, and he hold on to it. 
that boy Jackson Storm let him have the lead, bro. He gave him like a little time limit. Enjoy your retirement. Storm takes back the lead. Wait, it's raining. No. Bro, you have to stress yourself out, bro. You don't feel it? No. Oh my God. Oh. Yep, I'm flying through the air. This is not good. Now I know that this was like one of the posters that they showed. I didn't think that he was actually gonna have him do this in the movie. Damn. God. The YouTuber was too stunned to speak. Tom Cruise used a witchcraft on me to get the fire off me. Yo, that was so tragic, bro. But I love the powerful music they was playing in the background and stuff. I think it's safe to assume that Lightning McQueen's racing days are over. Because this dude's not running against real cars, man. This dude running against bullshit. And then for something like that to happen to him, I understand that he's dealing with some trauma, bro. And I know that kind of messed up this town, too. Like, a lot of people ain't really coming to this town like that no more because of what just happened. The Damn. Has lost control. There was a lot left in me. I never got a chance to show. I like that they're showing us Doc a little bit more. Sure. Felt a certain type of way that he wasn't showing yeah. him in the last movie. Great. One of the things that I, I remember hearing about last year when it came to, like, TikTok and Instagram and Twitter is cars was trending because a lot of people were debating on who was the GOAT. Even Stephen A. Smith talked about it. It was like funny as hell. Say, like, who would y'all say is a goat, man? Got a sneeze. I knew he was going to sneeze over there. I knew it. Bless you. So, what does a car sneeze out? Antifreeze? Of course, I want to keep racing. <laughs> Cool. Don't say you about to race on the indie yet. circuit or something like that. I need to train like them. We're way ahead of you, buddy. See, now, when it comes to that crash moment with Lightning and Queen, I know a lot of people were talking about that that was probably one of their more favorite posters that they shown in a movie. Well, I'd like to know exactly why. To me, I just felt like it was just basic as hell. I understand a lot of people say less is more. They don't really like the whole pop-up heads and all that type of stuff. Me, I, I really like those type of posters and stuff, so. Love you. Love you more. Rusty. You better give her some thanks when you be get ass back there, bro. Better lick them tailpipes clean. Uh, yeah. Look at that exhaust fan. <laughs> Pervert. <laughs> you know how she like it. So far, this movie is starting like really good, bro. It has like a more serious tone to it, which I know a lot of people were looking for when it came to how the first one was. I just like how they built in this story up of somebody who was on top has fallen from grace. People love underdog stories. I wonder why a lot of people don't like this movie though. How the hell did y'all build all this in four months? We sold Rusty's. What? It felt like the time was right for us, too. I mean, we're not as young and handsome as we look. Especially with this dude in this damn grass toupee. Why the hell you get that on your roof? Take as much time as you need. Door's always open, guys. That car is clean, though, bro. That definitely is like a CEO right there. That dude is also sus. I sure am going to miss racing for you guys. You gave us a lot of great memories, Lightning. Memories we'll remember. Wow, that's good. Yeah, exactly, you know, that's how memories are. Shoot, I wish I knew that that's where memories were. Thank you for explaining that to me. Jars of dirt from all the old tracks the Doc raced on. What the hell are you trying to do to this dude, man? You trying to give him some plastic surgery or something, bro? Dang, that's crazy. Does it have a phone? Race cars don't have phones. <laughs> but you're doing all this other shit. Okay. <laughs> Virtual reality. Still working on that. <laughs> the XDL24 GTS Mark C. And this is supposed to make us better, bro? <laughs> oh, there go the girl. I was wondering how they was going to introduce her. Ready to meet it, greet it, and, and defeat it. it. All right. I wonder who her voice actor is. I am a fluffy cloud. I am a fluffy cloud. <laughs> I thought he was about to say he's a fluffy cloud in a Kari world or something. Coco! What a reference, bro. Gee, which movie do y'all like more, Coco or Encanto? Lightning McQueen was here because I don't see him. He looks old and broken down. Hey! So this is this is how we meet? You disrespect me? Are you serious? Yeah, I see. I can use that oh. energy from... Okay. Motivation? Really? That's how you motivate people? You can use anything negative as fuel to push through to the positive. What type of car cocaine are you on right now? I call you my senior project. The cheek, the nerve, the gall, the audacity, and the gumption. We need to loosen those ancient joints. <laughs> we 
first. Are they doing jumba? When, when do I order your lunch? Now we should feel the fries. <laughs> what the hell are we doing? This your is lunch. Damn, you really want me to reach for my damn lunch, bro? What does a car eat? Drip pants? Just in case. How old do you think I am? How much time has passed since the first movie? What's up? Okay. You get me on a nightly stroll, bro? Like I'm just an elderly person? We'll work up to the higher speeds right after you take your nap. <laughs> need a nap? Why are you freaking embarrassing me like that in front of all these people? Are y'all doing this on purpose? Tires are individuals. Y you should give each a name. This girl doing the absolute most. May I have my tires back so I can go on the simulator, please? Name them. <laughs> uh, lefty, righty, back. Well, that's like the white friend in the group. Does this make you mad? Yes, it does. Use that and merge. Now clean up. Clean up your messy I'm garage. Fuck <laughs> Thank you, bro. This girl just saying sh This is what I'm talking about. Whoa, didn't know about those. <laughs> what is it? Just them peeking over the damn freaking stage, bro. That was hilarious. Shouldn't be this hard, should it? You have hit a wall. <laughs> It would have been funny if the simulator was like, this bitch cannot drive. Pick it up! It kind of reminds me of like those different kind of roller coasters they got now that you look at a screen and it kind of feels like you're on a certain roller coaster. Danger. You are going to It's saying pretty much all the stuff that I was going to say. You have crashed. Are you all right? And that's freaking like hundreds of thousands of dollars, bro. And you took out the power. Yo, he lucky he didn't get sued for something like that, bro. <laughs> Well, you, you you got something you want to say, bitch? It's your box head itself. You're all washed up, McQueen. Yo, that girl want to get slapped. You ready? For what? For these termination papers. <laughs> Become the big movie deals, infomercials, product endorsements. Yeah, he already had a lot of this stuff, but now you get like better quality, so this is great. But this dude's voice sounds familiar. I'm not going to race you. What do you mean not race me? Hold on. See, I knew he was on that BS, speed bro. I knew he was sus. Your speed and performance just aren't where they need to be. Man, of course yes. it ain't where it needs to be this get me riding on a five mile an hour track I, I can start right there on fireball beach where all the old greats used to race sacred dirt right and then y'all also can actually train me instead started. of having me do this Don't bull do bro this, this over here training me like i'm somebody's grandma it's got that little comeback story of the year feel to it doesn't it which will really help the brand and get you even more money if i don't win i'll show all the mud flaps you got i ain't say all that hey it's whatever bro that sand looks so freaking good you're brittle like a fossil <laughs> girl i'll show you something brittle when i break your freaking back bumper well life's a beach Get you with them car shots. We'll get you on the treadmill and I'll track your speed. I'm not driving on that thing when I've got the sand. I mean, I would do both, to be honest with you. I would drive on the sand and everything, and then I would drive on that thing just to see the difference. You feel me? Take advantage of all the options that you have, you know, to get better. I am speed. That is great self-motivation. Yeah, at least you got them Supremium ears, bro. <laughs> to be honest with you, from how it looked, it seemed like you was driving slow as I'm not even gonna knock you, bro. Race cars don't have phones, Cruz. Hamilton, your suit will transmit your speeds to Hamilton. Fine, whatever. Let's do this. I was just about to say, you forgot that y'all said that you can track his speed with the damn suit he got on right now? Let's go! 46 miles per hour. You do work with race cars, don't you? Yeah, but never outside. And I think that's one of the things that just makes him better and unique. Sorry! Bro, look at the again. detail on this freaking sand, bro. This looks freaking amazing. The beach ate me. <laughs> Girl, I cannot get you out of there. Now what? I didn't want to hit a crab. It was cute. <laughs> This girl is something else. Now, all of the Krabbies have gone night night. Mr. McQueen. All right, let's. Crazy how you're the trainer, but I'm training you. Made it. Congratulations. Thunder Hollow. To race against actual racers. Paparazzi. <laughs> Just put them in a, the opposite color from red. Man, it's like that boy just got R. Kelly right there, bro. Quite the same. When you get a whiff of my Hershey stains. Chester Whipple filter. Why? Cruz, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm your trainer. She about to cause this dude to lose, man. Or she might win. Oh. Oh. Easy eight. Whoa. 
The freaking detail in this movie is absolutely amazing, bro. I just love Pixar, bro. I understand that there are a lot of people that love 2D animation and they are like really upset. They don't make a lot of 2D animated movies and even shows nowadays, but I feel like this is one of the reasons why they make a lot of 3D stuff. People watch movies like this that are animated, but then you still have some realistic elements in the movie where it just looks amazing. Like the sand, the ground and everything, it looks real, bro. The fact that somebody He's able to get that level of detail like that is incredible. This looks like twisted metal, bro. Neither one of them has a single death. Oh, I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, we get all our teeth too. <laughs> this is insane. Wow, this has changed a lot from old school, bro. This is just like real life. A lot of stuff has changed. This girl's scared. <laughs> I shouldn't be out here. Well, that's your fault for wanting to be nosy. Turn right to go left. That doesn't make any sense. Turn right to go left. Man, that girl don't know about that Tokyo Drift, man. This is amazing, bro. Oh, hey, man. Oh, my goodness. That boy actually cussed, bro. The boy crazy taxi up in this field. Yo, this is amazing. I love this part. The directing here is on point, bro. Pizza Planet. Yeah, Pizza Planet. <laughs> this is incredible, bro. That boy is dead. Ritter time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gracious. Just like that? I knew she got your ass. Damn. You go get down, Whipple Filter. <laughs> Girl, get this stop sign out of my ass. Feel the wrath of the Lower Bell Bell County Unified School District. <laughs> This movie is definitely not what I thought it was gonna be. No, some BS just had to happen. And his tire is all messed up. It's Lightning McQueen! <laughs> he has always been my favorite. Girl, you was trying to kill me. What are you talking about? Chill out. Now you all know my freaking fender. Get off my brake pads. I know you got like a billion of them, so y you would know. <laughs> looks like they spend a lot of money on it. I, I mean, I think it's real metal. Stop. Girl, that looks like a toy. If I lose, I never get to do this again. If you were a racer, you'd know what I'm talking about, but you're not. So you don't. <sighs> Damn, bro. His voice acting right there was on point. That was a fantastic Matt, monologue. Over. Oh, now you want to act like you mad. Girl, you was over there in your feelings and stuff and looked like you was about to cry a second ago. F*** off my truck. Ask me if I dreamed of being a trainer, Mr. McQueen. Go ahead. I don't give a f***. Hey, drive off, bro. Ask me if I saved every penny to buy a ticket to the races when they came to town. Ask me if I did that so that I could be a trainer someday. Ask me. I mean, you sorry. I'm a racer forever because of you. I used to watch you on TV. You seemed so fearless. That's what my family used to say. Dream small or not at all. That sounds like some haters right there, bro. They was they not were just trying you. to protect me. No, they wasn't. People are always trying to keep other people down, bro. I don't know why people are like that. Instead of trying to support other people, they be so quick to keep people down where they at. Haters, bro. And they want to come up with excuses. Can't stand the society, bro. The other racers looked nothing like me. They were bigger and, and stronger and so confident. I just left. I wonder why we never seen any female cars being racers and stuff. They never like highlighted the female division or anything like that. How did you know you could do it? I just never thought I couldn't. Uh, it was steroids. <laughs> At the PEDs. 213 miles an hour. And he still look like he's just coasting, bro. He doesn't even look like he's going his full potential. Lightning McQueen finding yet another way to embarrass himself. How can you Go not be racing not anymore really. and still hating <laughs> on me, bro? How can you say. still Everyone be on my back. roof? Like, get off of me, bro. This boy on my spoiler hard. Like, chill out, bro. McQueen's probability of winning is 1.2 percent. We know you lying. Never lie. I mean, I knew his career was stuck in the. 
<laughs> that boy, the way he talk, he just like looking for attention, bro. There we go. Somebody's interrupting genius. I'm about to say, man, y'all got yeah, iPhones, bro. This boy really got a good? Mac. Hold on. Let me see here. That better. Yo, them teeth are crazy, bro. Mater, I can't do this forever. Man, you better uh, not be doubting yourself right now, bitch. I feel like I'm all out of ideas. Oh, you know what I'd do? What? I don't know. I got nothing. Okay, Mater. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, bro. <laughs> I'll just hang up. What the hell? But obviously, Cars 3 is brought to you by Apple. Because, like, why the hell do they get Macs and iPads, bro? Mater, you're brilliant. It's all about the shape of your teeth. <laughs> oh, well, I guess. You know, <laughs> if your brain is in your teeth, then yeah, you definitely smart. I fixed it. How the hell did you fix it? Please don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I yelled. <laughs> what in the world is going on right here, bro? Oh, Get on the oh, oh, just stop. That was just ridiculous. It would have been so cool if Doc was alive and to witness that crash that Lightning McQueen went through, seeing his reaction and seeing him also trying to find a way to help him come back. So he will been like, you know, I don't want what happened to me to happen to you. Okay, this girl drifting now. All right. And she smoothed with it too. Oh, that is a great shot right there. Oh, that is a fantastic shot right there. Oh my God. Starting to think I might never meet you. His voice sounds familiar. Barnstormer Nash, and she had 38 wins. Dang, I like they're actually acknowledging another female racer. They are here to steal our secret. Looking for your lost mojo. You don't mince words around here, do you? Man, they just straight haters, bro. Dang, that voice sounds familiar too. Who is singing? And we'll rise up. I like the waves. We'll rise up. Fast River, Fast Lou, even Junior. That's amazing that they're showing us this in this type of filter. Oh, Jesus. It's clean. Oh my God, man. That stuff was like the Matrix. And every last one of them was about you. Racing wasn't the best part of HUD's life. You were. I mean, I can completely understand why. You know, he didn't have any kids. That was pretty much like a son to him. He taught him how to race, gave him the passion back into his life when it comes to loving racing and just like living in general. You got a lot of stuff, kid. Wow, the tone of this one is like completely different to the point where the first it's two, I never really you. felt like I was getting to that sense of getting emotional and tearing up. But this already happened to me like maybe three times in this movie already. They really trying to go serious with this one. He's probably losing his hearing. He said you're old and I heard him. <laughs> You'll never be as fast. Girl, you need to chill. Yo, out. Smart. Damn, bro, y'all hooked that girl up. Get that arthritis riddled keister onto the track so I can put you into the old folks' home against your will. Oh, she was waiting on that. How is that? <laughs> that was not in the script. Now she can finally live out her dream of being a racer. All right. Yo, she going crazy now. Reflexes are the first thing to go. Damn, you old ass dude. Go. Oh my God, not this BS again. <laughs> Two days left, kid. Yo, they really having this like Rocky or something, bro. I put McQueen in there. Give you some real competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real? Is this that's funny? That's funny. All right. Then when I beat your fucking grill off, then we'll see if you laughing. Now you're slow. And old. And rickety. And dilapidated. Okay, okay, I get it. Damn, it's like how long has it been? They keep talking about how old he is. When the window opens, take it. Oh, hell no, nah, girl. Where did you come from? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? This dude got super strength. Chill out. Look who finally showed up. I like this character, man. I like his voice. I like the trash talk he does. We ran moonshine, dummy. No lights. Yo, this definitely seemed like something y'all was doing when y'all was kids, bro, for fun. Don't even look like training. That boy Lightning McQueen coming back, baby. That boy broke away from them chains, bitch. The 
boy said, get that fake stuff off of me, man. This ain't Lightning McQueen. Maybe it's best that he doesn't show up. You know, after how last season ended? Man, you didn't even win. You was in sixth place. Like, they action losers their opinion about me. What? There you go! <laughs> hey! Yo, boy, get me hype. That's what I'm talking about, coach. That boy need to go see a therapist, bro. Boy dealing with that PTSD. I want to thank everyone for the training. We better get going to Florida. Ain't nobody else gonna say anything to him. Yo, Justin this Cup movie racing. is it's like on a whole line. nother level, bro. The story that they brought out is just so good. And I will say that this is definitely the perfect story to have when it comes to the end of a trilogy. Storm should be 96.8% unstoppable. Girl, you all on his junk. Like, chill. Speed. I am speed. Man, you might have to come up with a new way to motivate yourself. And no matter what happens, I'm gonna move on to the next rookie and forget I ever knew you. Uh, that, that ain't really a uh, funny joke right now. I heard you're selling mud flap. Hey, you put me down for the first case, okay? Bro, I do not like his trash talk, bro. He speaks that kind of trash talk where you want to start throwing hands. It's not even like the old school trash talk. <laughs> Yo, the boy stopped me in my track. Hearing his voice, that sh better motivated you, bro. Just focus on what you're here to do, kid. Get all these basic cars, bro. They all look the same. Tell him he has three laps to catch me. You got three laps to catch her. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what? Girl, nobody ain't thinking about you right now. I I'd like you to head back to the training center right away. So you trying to set me up to fail. That's going to have you lose money. Remember, not a racer. But you're not. She's not a racer. She's a trainer. Dude, that boy trained her to be a racer. Reckon two. Reckon turn two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, Lord. Oh, -hoo -hoo. I thought y'all was supposed to be like next gen and everything, bro. I thought y'all was supposed to be top tier. What happened? Get her back. Now, one of the things that I heard on TikTok was like Jackson Storm was like AI or something like that. Or what makes him like different from the other cars? I forgot what they said in the movie. I'm sorry. No, not me. Her. Y'all really about to get her set up like that fast? You damn right. You're getting your shot. What? She's just a trainer. No, she's a racer. The rules only say the number has to be out there. Doesn't say who has to wear it. Did I ever tell you how much I love you? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Mater. The boy doing some good. <laughs> so she's about to take his place? Which makes it my last chance to give you your first chance, Cruz. Damn, that was a great line. I like that. Yo, how could you not like this movie? I understand all film is subjective, but... Tell her the, the school bus of death is after her. What? Oh, uh, uh-huh. Right. You are a fluffy cloud. I'm a fluffy cloud. I'm... <laughs> you see, you gotta give her different lingo for her to understand. All the little crappies have gone night-night. No. <laughs> yeah, that stuff is embarrassing. I sneak through the window. Now that, I understand. <laughs> I mean, I, I could understand maybe some people not liking this movie when it comes to this sequence here with like Lightning McQueen getting out of the race and then she's taking his place. I can understand that, but me, I don't really care that much. Watch it, watch it, watch it. You have hit a wall. Ha ha! Just being aggressive. So I guess this boy Lightning McQueen just accepted his role, bro. He's old, man. He need to retire. That's sad. Now she's in the top ten. So I know the crowd is getting hyped, bro. Just seeing this newcomer just having this kind of performance. Ramirez is in third. Seems like this dude Jackson Storm about to do some little. Trying to get in your head. They don't need to know what you and I already do. You'll never be one of us. Damn, that boy slowed down, talked sh and then sped up. That's straight savage. <laughs> How do y'all let a dude like this talk smack like that and get in your heads, bro? What? He sees something in you that you don't even see in yourself. <laughs> Yo, that music build up was crazy, bro. Got me some freaking goosebumps. Just back here dropping on your butt. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, yeah, she's talking <laughs> too, girl. You better talk your <laughs> <laughs> My GPS is saying I have slow traveling in my. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's what I'm talking about, girl. Oh, you bitch. I told you he was going to do some. You don't belong on this track. Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yes. <laughs> Slap. Oh, sh hey, <laughs> yes. yo, they really got me hype as hell. Like, I was literally there, bro. That was crazy. Now, you about to be all on her. Really had it rolling today. That was cool. Thank you. Hey, Cruz. Hey, Lakers. girl, lived out her dream, bro. <laughs> uh, bro, that's definitely something that can get you emotional, too. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to that. Cruise. I would never race for you. Well, then race for me. There he go. I was wondering where you was. We have a long history of great racers, except for Cal. I'm still right here. Dang, Dang I hate Cal this dude. Cruise. <laughs> Lightning, now that you're retired, I need you first thing Monday morning for a photo shoot. Bitch, who said I'm retired? Why is my name up there? You started the race. No. Uh, Lightning wins. He decides when he's done racing. Wait, what? Hey, I mean, you if that's nice the rule, guy. then okay. Whatever technicality is that, I mean, it's whatever. I guess it feels kind of anticlimactic, but I'm happy for him. Kid's got a lot of stuff. Hey, Doc. Damn, I don't know. Him sticker. just talking to Doc right there, like, really got me emotional, bro. Yeah, oh, they really trying to get you with this movie. I got something I want to do. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, she look clean. Nah, bro, the blue does not look good on you, bro. I understand that you're trying to pay respect, but come on now. I like it. I don't. Hope you got your fluffy cloud. I hope you got your drip pan. Go! <laughs> okay, with how this movie went, I can understand why a lot of people didn't like the second one. Because you had the first movie start off a certain type of way, then the second movie was completely random out of nowhere, and then the third movie, it went back to the main story, and bro, you're just going to skip a lot of time and everything. So I can understand what y'all talking about bro this movie was amazing bro to me i feel like this was probably the best out of the three this is my favorite when it comes to the story the voice acting freaking effects animation it looked so freaking good bro i loved how they started the movie off a certain type of way it got me into the movie so quick freaking uh, crash was crazy like this movie really felt like a rocky movie or something like that bro these freaking pictures are crazy but i can't wait to hear your thoughts i hope that you enjoyed watching this movie with me you enjoyed the video please like the video share comment down below subscribe click the bell so you know when i upload more videos and follow me on all my social medias links will be down in the description below all right everybody and there we go with cars three <laughs> like i'm sorry i was looking at something else so i was about to say a different movie but yeah this movie was fantastic i loved how the story started off um and i loved how it ended when it came to the middle it was pretty cool i was just like really invested into this story here i would definitely like to hear y'all thoughts if you want to see my full length reaction to this movie other movies i do tv shows to do you can click the link down in the description to my patreon i would actually go ahead and give this movie an a minus bro i don't know what i gave the first one i think i gave the first one an a minus as well or a b plus now i just want to go ahead and tell you this right here when it comes to my review for the second one in the video i gave it a b plus i meant to give it a b i really thought that all three of them was gonna race like together because that's pretty much how a lot of the posters in the movie was going they were showing all three of them racing crash at the beginning was like very tragic that was a strong moment in this movie voice acting was good animation was fantastic i love what they was doing with the directing in certain parts like that whole demolition derby scene was like amazing that definitely was one of my favorite parts of the movie and they also got me a few times when it comes to the feel so uh they did a good job when it comes to this movie right here and yo with all that being said i'll see you on the next one all right peace